Uh, first year, he putted conventionally, had distinct challenges with uh, dropping his right uh, forearm into a relaxed, flexed environment such that his shoulders would square up. So he would create this pull path and open club face blow that didn't affect the ball real well. And we continued down this pathway of, you know, let's have our checks and balances, our things that we can do in practice and block practice to make sure that at least we're starting off our sessions in the right foot with good alignment. And then in the springtime, about a year after I saw him, a little less short of a year, he came back to the lesson and said, I got something to show you. And he was so excited. And uh, giddy 13 year old at this point. And he said, Let me show you. I'm putting cross handed now. And I said, That's awesome, buddy. So it actually wasn't my idea, but I said, I've got one request for you. I said, This is new. And you've got to be tolerant that given that it's new, You've got to give yourself a good runway to learn uh, th through this skill, uh, through the progression that we've already talked about at length the last two days, such that you start to see the results that you're expecting immediately. And I said, I want a commitment of at least six months of doing this. And as long as you commit to that six months, I couldn't care less whether it's a double overlap, left hand low, a single overlap, a trail hand overlap, et cetera, et cetera. All I care is that we can measure that the ball's doing what we intended to do, and it's doing it on an ever more precise basis, on an ongoing basis. So for him, it was beneficial because it immediately dropped his left shoulder down, pulled his right elbow in, and got him into a much better degree of alignment. Does that mean that it's shifted my philosophy in terms of what I recommend to players now? No, absolutely not. Uh, my starting point would be uh, a, a more conventional grip. It's what I know as a player. It's what I most know as a coach. But at the end of the day, I'm style agnostic. At the end of the day, as we all are on this panel, and hopefully everyone in this room takes a message of we're performance-driven coaches. So I, I see that issue arise a lot for when a right-handed player, a left-eye dominant, left-eye dominant, the ball's a bit more forward. A foundational element for all my players, even though they look a little bit differently, would be square shoulders at address. So when somebody has the ball forward and they're putting with conventional grip, a lot of times they'll really struggle just feeling comfortable enough. And if you try to square their shoulders, they just can't quite feel relaxed. And a lot of times when you go left hand low, that left arm, like Cameron says, just brings the shoulders in alignment and it really levels them out. So I hardly ever see the left hand low for a right eye dominant right hand player. Uh, but quite often for a left eye dominant player, it really is a comforting thing for them. They just feel good when they set up that way. Mm -hmm.